Imagine a place in the universe so empty and unfathomable that even stars and galaxies stay away. NASA has discovered just such a mysterious nothing, and this discovery could open the door to unimagined mysteries. Join us as we delve into the vast expanse of these cosmic voids and investigate whether they are indeed leading us down the path to the multiverse. The answer may bring us closer to the true nature of the universe than we ever dreamed possible. A hole in the universe. Look up at the sky at night and you'll see lots of darkness and thousands of shining stars. If you're lucky enough to look up at the night sky outside of cities and urban centers, you'll probably see almost as much light, glow, and stars as darkness. Astronomers have long known that the void, or mysterious dark matter, makes up about 85% of the universe. Yet they never would have expected the universe to be full of vast areas that don't even contain dark matter. These holes in the cosmic matrix must not be confused with voracious black holes. The big voids are millions of times bigger than any black hole. The voids also do not have such a huge gravitational force as a black hole, they are simply mysterious voids in the cosmos. Nevertheless, the voids are not completely empty. Here and there a few lonely galaxies cavort, but if in other regions hundreds of galaxies appear in a certain quadrant in an area of the same size in a void, there would be just two or three. That the voids are not completely empty raises further questions. So far, Researchers cannot explain with 100% certainty why there is nothing or very, very little in these areas. Some theories assume that it would have to do with the invisible matrix of the cosmos, the filaments, structures in the depths of the universe along which galaxies, stars, and other phenomena move. As it looks, voids do not have these structures. Respectively, they are formed within the voids completely different than in the rest of the universe. If these structures are missing, or there are hardly any, galaxies can move into these areas. The current theory is that voids, or cosmic voids, are voids in which, for unexplained reasons, there is much less matter than in other regions of the universe. How do you detect the void in space? Although the large voids in space have diameters of several million light years, they are not normally visible to us. Behind and in front of these spaces are numerous galaxies and stars that cover the voids. Finally, it was a tiny variation in the temperatures of the cosmic background radiation that gave away this phenomenon. The CMB cold spot in the Eridanus constellation is about 1.8 billion light years away and has a diameter of about 1.3 billion light years. It was discovered in 2004 by a tiny anomaly in the cosmic background radiation. The discovery was a surprise because the microwave background normally does not have large structures but is essentially uniformly distributed throughout the sky. But suddenly there was a giant structure that was consistently about 0.00015 degrees Celsius below the other average. This uniform coldness, albeit small, immediately earned the new discovery the name Cold Spot. In the years that followed, astronomers used special research facilities such as NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory to further investigate the mysterious cavity. When the X-ray telescope was pointed at the empty space, large portions of the void appeared as if this area had been cut out of the rest of the universe. Not a single photon could be seen, nothing. Although the phenomenon of empty space in the universe is a fascinating mystery to us, these appearances are most likely quite normal. Astronomers may have discovered other such phenomena, and by now researchers believe that there are numerous empty spaces in the universe. It's possible that these are the direct result of structures that existed at the beginning of the cosmos, shortly after the Big Bang. As the cosmos expanded, much smaller empty patches may have once grown into the giants we can measure today. It's important for science to understand every single phenomenon in the universe, because only in this way 
will we eventually be able to find out for sure how the universe came into being and how it will continue to develop? Proof of the Multiverse? Around the holes in the universe, some interesting theories exist, according to which these phenomena are not only any structures. Within the voids, evidence has been found for the collision of several large void bubbles. Thus, the cold spot could actually be an indication of a so-called multiverse. The bubbles that collided here would then be different universes or dimensions. The explosion of the collision tore a gap of enormous dimensions into the space-time continuum. The idea of one or more parallel universes is based on the theory of cosmic inflation. This theory states that the universe expanded exponentially in the first fractions of a second after the Big Bang. This expansion could have led to the formation of multiple universes, each with its own characteristics. Another theory suggests that the cold spot is actually the result of cold dark gas moving through the universe and affecting the cosmic microwave background. If this is the case, the cold spot could be an important clue to how the universe will continue to evolve over the next few billion years. Both theories are controversial in the scientific community and more research will be needed to determine for sure whether these assumptions are true. Cosmic Background Radiation The fact that we are able to discover and explore all these things is thanks to cosmic microwave background radiation. This radiation, audible as a hiss or a steady noise, is a direct relic of the Big Bang and provides a map of the cosmos that shows very different events than the image from a telescope which can only capture light. Cosmic background radiation was discovered in 1965 by a German US physicist and astronomer named Arno Allen Penzias. Penzias and his colleague Robert Woodrow Wilson were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1978 for this groundbreaking achievement. In 1964, the two men were working on a large radio antenna at Bell Laboratories in New Jersey. While doing so, the two encountered a disturbing background noise that was remarkably the same from all directions. For a year, the two scientists tried in vain to find and eliminate the source of the jamming radio. Penzias said at the Nobel Prize ceremony, most people get the Nobel Prize for things they have been looking for. We got it for something we were trying to get rid of. What began as an incessant hiss and annoyance became one of the most important sources of space exploration. Although the radiation is very uniform overall, it has tiny differences that scientists study. As measurement methods improve, researchers can glean more from this data. The Planck mission was the largest and most accurate mapping of the cosmic microwave background to date. Using this data, Researchers also found the mysterious cold spot. Boatis Supervoid The Boatis Supervoid, or the Boatis Void, is one of the first voids ever discovered. The region, with a diameter of about 300 million light years, contains only a few galaxies. Their redshift is about 0.05, which corresponds to a distance of about 650 million light years. The void is named after the constellation Boetes or Bear Keeper. Of course, the void is not identical with the constellation, but lies between, behind, or in front of the numerous stars of the Bear Keeper. In the void itself, there is not much or hardly anything emitting light. The Boetes void was already described in 1981 when the U.S. scientist Robert Kirshner made investigation about the distribution of the redshift of galaxies. Redshift is a measure of how fast something is moving away from the Earth. Because of the way our universe expands, galaxies move faster the farther away they are. Using Redshift, the team of astronomers, led by Kirshner, created the first 3D map of the universe. When the map was solidified, a large, spherical void appeared 700 million light years from Earth. Across a width of about 330 million light years, there were hardly any galaxies. A galaxy like our Milky Way could have fit into this space billions of times over. At the time, researchers called the amazing space 
the Great Nothing. Later, the name Boetes Void became common. The few galaxies move through space so lonely that entities located in them and exploring space could look millions of light years away and there would simply be nothing there. The scientists of these worlds would perhaps have the impression for hundreds of years that the cosmos consisted of a large void with a single galaxy in it. After many years and technological advances, these scientists might find another galaxy and rejoice. Only gradually, the alien astronomers would find out that there are regions in the universe teeming with galaxies. Then they would perhaps wonder how spaces could develop, which are so crowded. Quite the same way we're surprised on the Earth about the fact that there are spaces in the universe which have gigantic dimensions and in which almost nothing exists. Voids are completely normal cosmic phenomena. So we finally have to state that voids are quite normal cosmic appearances which are formed very probably by the attraction of the surrounding dark matter. Dark matter normally acts like a cosmic glue holding surrounding galaxies and gas clouds together. In the void itself, dark matter is not even found, or at much lower levels than in the rest of the universe. Without the gravitational pull of dark matter, galaxies would move apart much faster, and presumably they would move into the large voids. Conversely, the voids provide very probably also for the agglomerations of dark matter in the universe. In the final effect, Voids are nothing else than appearances of the cosmic landscape, like mountains, valleys, deserts, and seas on our Earth. Research into the underlying structures of the universe is currently in its infancy, but offers incredible potential for further exciting discoveries. Scientists are currently continuing to work to understand the cause of cold spots and to find out if these mysterious voids can really show us the way to parallel worlds. Do you find the idea of dimensions or even universes colliding in our cosmos and creating big holes fascinating? Or do such ideas rather scare you? Let us know. As always, we're looking forward to your personal opinion in the comments. We hope you had a great time, and we'll see you next time at Simply Space.